Hi, I'm Ken Fries from the Vescor Member Services team, and today I'm going to talk to you about designating a beneficiary under your pension plan. So a member can designate a beneficiary uh, for their pension plan because the pension would be payable upon the death of the member. Now keep in mind if there's no spouse, uh, no eligible dependent, or no designated beneficiary, any debt benefit would be payable to the member's estate. Uh, even by naming a beneficiary, uh, a spouse would supersede in any entitlement of the beneficiary to a pre-retirement debt benefit, um, unless the spouse would sign a waiver, which would be the waiver, which would be the Form 9. Now we talk about spouse uh, for the pension plan. The spouse is married to the person or two years common law. So we'll talk a bit more about Form 9. Uh, basically, it's the spouse waiving their death benefit. It's just a waiver. Now, if at any point the spouse would want to revoke that, you and the spouse would need to sign a Form 10 to revoke it. Um, so if we want more information about designating a beneficiary, if you still have questions, there is a benefits fact sheet that can be found on the Vescor website at vescor.org forward slash NBPSPP. Now, if you have any more questions about designating beneficiary spouses, you can contact the member services team at Vescor.